here today on the hunt for the perfect floor plan future home we're gonna we're gonna oh no you didn't tell me that what that i was gonna have to live in it So where are we at, honey? I can tell you right now, you got that thing too close to my face. <laughs> Just kidding. We're at Cola again, because we would come here every day. I would come here every day. It's been a couple months since we've been it's here. It's been a couple months. And we're here today on the hunt for... Uh, the perfect floor plan. A turkey deer. <laughs> the perfect floor plan. For a floor plan and possible options to our future home. We're gonna, we're gonna have... Oh no, you didn't tell me that. What? That I was gonna have to live in it. Well, yeah, we have to live in the RV. I just ain't no two ways about it. <laughs> but this one is the first one that we're looking at. Now, I'm not sure how well y'all can see in here. But this one's not bad. It doesn't have a slide on it. But, yeah, it's not too bad. It's got bunk back there. Little dinette right here. And it does have bathroom back here with a shower and mini tub so pretty neat little I like the heat. huh the what is it that you rack. like the spots right down here underneath the oh right here yeah and there's yep. one over the sink too for stuff oh there is I like that very cool very cool that way you don't have to move things when you're nice. on moving day on travel days yep pretty cool all right yep. All righty. Oh, I really like this. Uh, hey, yeah. Yes. This is a nice do jobby right here. Are you filming? Yes. Boy, I like that big window right there. You could put your recliner in here. Yeah. Your recliner would fit in here. It probably would. You could bring yours home. Probably so. It would probably fit there better, though. Yeah. I really like this one. I do too. Boy, I tell Are you what. Are you what. filming? Yes. Can we finance this one? I'd rather not. I, uh, the Lord's going to provide us with something, but I know. I'm telling you, we need to trust. I but know. this is one of the first ones that I've walked in like this. I love this window. I do too. I love this. I do too. Because could you imagine sitting right here? I do this. I'm going to do it on camera because I want to show y'all what I want to do. I want to sit like this right here and look out my window at the Grand Canyon. Or the Grand Tetons. Or, or Yellowstone. Yellowstone. There you go. Think about but, that. you know what? Dad was right. A slide out. Even just the one slide. Makes a huge Makes difference. a big, big difference. Alright, I think, that, I think I'm think i staying. This and this one's got a slide. It's got a lot more room. You know that? Yes. It is a must. What's that? The window. The window? Man. And I like this booth. Look at your trunk down. Sure. Got a walk-through bathroom. And I like that. I do too. We'll go back and watch our videos from before and we'll be like, we saw this one <laughs> and we really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it does make such a huge difference. Oh, you got it. Really like it. Does. I have lots of storage in the bathroom. Very nice. Yeah, I like this one. I do too. I like this one a lot. I do too. Like TV would go in there. You know that? Hmm? Wow. All right. Corner cabinet. Lots of storage. Good one. Okay. This one is a hideout by Keystone. L A L H S, whatever that is.
Ow. Nice bathroom. Yes, ma'am. And pantry. This is a big bonus to have a pantry. Absolutely. Even if it's a small pantry, like half this size, some of them have something like half this size. That's still a place where you, you put all to... your food and stuff. I mean, he, we can put totes and he can stuff slide his stuff in and totes. Yeah. I like the full on full like this one. I like the layout. Like I do too. A little bit older than this. Yeah. Like this one is a 2017. Yeah. But 17,000 for a brand new RV, you know, is not a bad. This one has a central back system in it too. Central back system. Yeah, I like that. So, but this one's got a little bit more cabinet space in, I think. So, not too bad. All right, moving on. Accordion door. But it'll, it'll be all right. It's got that U-shaped dinette. Look at here. Yeah. Nice. It's got that recessed sink in it. Pour you on. It is pour you on. Aluminum. Stainless. No. Bathroom's fine. Okay. Especially to be a 22 foot. Yeah, I was going to say, for a 22 foot, this ain't bad. There's your little pantry right there. And a room in here. I mean, we would hang towels, and this would this is, would leave closet space for somebody. Yeah. Cool deal. Not bad. Uh -uh, not bad at all. And at the, you know, if Riley was, if we had something like this. And, and I do like this. And Riley was yeah. sleeping here. This is long. This is the 70 inch, so it doesn't go. So that would be good. Cool. Not a bad little thing. Okay, so this one is a fun finder. The fun finder? How long is this one? Cross ventilation. Yes. Cross windows. Yes. Plus. Very nice. I like this shower in here. You like the shower without the door? I don't mind that. I like the tile looking, like the rocks looking. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to bet that this does have an outdoor kitchen. We're going to play RV Jeopardy. RV Jeopardy. Yes. So this is a Wildwood by Forest River. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what is, no, the, <laughs> the answer is, the answer is 28 DBUD. And the question is, what is a 28 double bunk U dinette? That doesn't make any sense. They're That's, supposed to come up with the question, not us. But that's okay. We I just did I was doing it. the answer, and then I was coming up with the question. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. So okay. you're a one-woman Jeopardy show. Got yeah. you. I mean, I'm like cool. Alexa Trifecta. All right. <laughs> Rock on. All right. Take us on a tour here. All right. 
In here. You are. Yeah. You do a better tour. You sound like Yoda. In here you are. <laughs> In here you are. A bedroom that you can walk into. A bedroom you are in. <laughs> Double pocket door. Nice size queen bed. And boogie here. So I do have a pantry. Awesome. And drawers, lots of drawers. Lots. Do you? Yeah, look. Cool, cool deal. See? Floors here. Built in. Silverware divider. Nice. Which would floor us because in our means to downsize, mm -hmm. I've done away with the divider. We just throw everything in one drawer. <laughs> that is true because we don't have that much silverware. <laughs> but then, check out this. This is a neat little do job. Yeah, I didn't want you to break that. Wow. How's that? For some That's extra pretty cool. Space? I like that. That's pretty neat. Instead of wasting that. I can put my crayon That's something there. that Forest River likes to do. Mm -hmm. I learned that from somebody. Forest River likes to take advantage of all the space that they have instead of letting it go to waste That's to right. give you more storage. Like this, for instance. You've been watching Josh the RV nerd. See how their drawers go all the way back. Not just a short little drawer. And it's a actual drawer. plywood. And it's real wood. As opposed to the crystal. Because I'll show you something. Forest River. Oh, that's Rockwood. I was going to be on the ceiling. Oh, goodness, girl. <laughs> yeah, you messed that up, didn't you? Never mind. <laughs> it does have surround sound. In this little Wait a minute. Wildwood, I think, is part of Forest River. It's Rockwood that you I know. Found. Rockwood is also a Forest River product. So, hey, you know, they're all pretty, pretty good. As Josh says, each of them are the best for different reasons. At what they do. Sure. Yeah. Forest River is the best at storage. And they really have done a good job. Unless, of course, you you know, you've got an Avion or an Airstream or Silver Street, then... Then you have no storage. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you just build it in. No. <laughs> I like this one. Look, it's got a shoe thingy. Yeah, it's got a little shoe Shoe garage. Shoe That's garage. Yeah. Shoe garage. There you go. Cool. Hmm. This one's a good one. If you'll notice when you stepped in, you've got these wonderful fold up flexible stairs. Uh huh. Yeah, those are nice. Triple bunk, not twin bunk. Really? Oh, I'll be darned. Uh, I think I like. Hey, this is awesome. Dog kennel. Hello. Right there, you betcha. Wait here. Slide out. Well, yep. Slide out platform for your TV. Okay, honey, I think I really like this. Jackknife one. sofa. Got a little dinette. Here's the thing if you were in the military, that's how much room you would get to sleep. Well, yeah. Oh, see what the weight is. This is a 27 foot rear kitchen it says. Oh, oh wow you actually have walk around space here in the bedroom. His and hers wardrobes. needs to be fixed, but that's okay. 6,300 pounds. That's not bad. Uh-huh. This is nice, though. There's now, see, this is one of the reasons I love the rear kitchens. Because of the living room. Well, the living room space 
it, it, there's just it's more social. It is. It's it, it's separated. And you've got a little more seating in the living room area, plus walkthrough room. And you're across from the couch. There's the television. That's what I like. I do too. And this big window. So if we are parked with the door facing out towards the Grand Canyon, <laughs> look at that window. That's what I'm saying. I like the uh, bathroom. Yeah. Here's something I like. I'm going to this out real quick. This is one of the things I do not like about some of the rear kitchens. They put the refrigerator right there, so when you bring the slide in, you're not able to access your refrigerator and freezer if you need to. Uh, rear kitchens I've seen where they have the refrigerator over here, so that works out pretty good. But this is still really cool. I like this. And yes, I did see the corner bathroom back there, and that is, I like that. And holy moly. Yeah. And it is roomy in there. It's got lots of cabinet space. It is roomy. Lots. Look, and you've got a double pantry back there, too. Yeah. There's lots and lots of space. I like, I like when they do this too and they give you a cabinet uh -huh. underneath the refrigerator instead of it being a vent. Yeah. I do like this one. Yeah. Hey, this is a Northland Alrighty. by Heartland. Or a North Trail. I think it's a North Trail. North Trail by Heartland. By Heartland. I like this one. And it's a rear living. And Natalie likes this one. I am fond of a real table and chairs. <laughs> You know, yes. They're so much more comfortable if you're just eating than being crammed in a booth and you have nowhere to go. Like, yeah. you can't give yourself more space. And check out this table. All right. Let's see if I can do it now, okay? We smashed our fingers on one the last time we were here because yeah. we couldn't figure it out. But this one slides out really easy. Look at that. And then look. Nice. You just kind of shake it in. And it's like, I have one. No. Um, lift up that Just top, see if that top lifts up. It does. It has hinges on it. Looky there. Store away the, the cards and the board games. I would like to buy one of these tables. <laughs> yes. A place for me to be able to hide... Candy bars. No, I'm not a candy bar person. <laughs> to hide my Smarties or my bottle caps. <laughs> yes. Alright, let's see here. There's another candy. I love those. Those are my favorite candies. Get that out. There you go. Good job, babe. It's not super High five easy. me. All right. It's not super easy, but you don't want it to slide out while you're going yeah, on the road. You don't. Yeah, I do kind of like this one. Yeah. Yep, it doesn't have a price tag on it. So it's free. It's free. I like the bathroom. Okay, so this means that the door is broke, but here's your uh, double door wardrobe right there. You've got two drawers. There's also a wardrobe there and a wardrobe over there. As well as you got little table, little nightstand end right there with outlets to plug in for electricity. And you also have cabinet space above the bed there. So that's pretty cool. Oops, let's spin around here and take a look at the bathroom. It's not bad. It's not bad. Your AC is ducted through the roof there. And your heat is in the sidewalls, like in your cabinets and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Don't mind me. I'm just oh, looking she's at the Grand just, Canyon. Yeah, she's looking out the Grand Canyon there, boys and girls. So. You didn't know it was on I 44. Hello. I'm going to open the door so you can get Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay, so this one. Is a let me come back out here and look at it again. 20 25 RS 25 RS. It's a, Puma. it's a Puma. No slide on this one, but we do like it, especially for the weight factor because Natalie said it's 5,000 pounds right there. 5,035 pounds. Look at this, honey. It shows on here 27 feet overall. Okay, so see, look at here. You got a cabinet here on this side of the sink with a place for your Berkey. <laughs> Plus, you've got a little end table thing there that yeah. has a little pool of storage in it. Your size. Aha, uh -huh. underneath. Plus, it's a jackknife sofa. You've got a little dinette right here. 
Lots of cabinet space. Lots of cabinet space. TV would mount right there. Let's see here. Lots of cabinet space up there. That would take a look at it from this one. It's got the built-in rack, like for, well, it's supposed to be like for dish stuff, but spices, no spices. Here. Pantry space, here, and up here. Refrigerator, freezer. Plus you've got... Closet to hang your clothes in. Put some other things in if you need to. Again, you've got another uh, TV mount up there on a swing arm, it looks like. To mount a TV in for the bedroom. His and hers wardrobes. Drawers. Uh, on your nightstands. And you've got some over the head cabinet space in the bedroom. And it's got a pocket door for the bedroom. It does have a pretty good size bathroom. There's a little tub. I like this one. It has no slide, but overall we feel it's got a lot of room to offer. I like the weight, the fact that it's uh, so light and Plus, when we, yeah, we'll be coming back. He'll be with us, she said, like, for about nine months. Nine months, yeah. So. There you go. I like it. I do, too. What brand was this one again? Puma. It's a Puma. Wooden, yeah. It is a Puma. Sweet deal.